this is our hydrocyclone here and let me show you about its details so you guys can check about its inside it is a totally closed equipment and there are like three parts it is the best equipment for refining washing and concentrating the crude starch milk after separating most of the protein and other light substances by the separator uh, it by many groups of counter current series it can replace the separation unit it has a really small area uh, with four centrifuge process uh, has a really really simple structure no vibration uh, it is a really easy to con uh, uh, it is really convenient to maintain the equipment reliable operation and a, a, a lot of other advantage the production of the same quality of starch done with the centrifuge process to save about 50 percent investment it is really easy to operate re easy to maintain it, and uh, the, the cost for the equipment is relatively low so uh, it is one of the equipment with high promotion value in the starch industry i'm sure uh, if you have already done the starch business you must know about this hydrocyclone equipment uh, why do we have to use about the hydrocyclone for this one uh, the screened core starch milk contains a certain amount of protein and those protein uh, particles it is really tiny really small but the the time is too long it can accumulate into a group so that the separation in fact it is gradually reduced so should be separated as soon as possible and if the primary separation is done by the separator and the refining and the washing starch can be completely uh, completed by uh, the six to nine stage cyclone and the overall overflow yellow pump can be recovered before returning to the separator and in the process of total cyclone purification separation and refining the cyclone group it is divided into two parts uh, the first part uses six to eight groups for primary uh, concentration and separation and the second part is t 10 to 12 groups for refining and washing and if six to eight groups of washing parts it is added at the last the quality of starch will be better and if you do have any questions for this uh, this uh, hydrocyclone here you can type something to let me know that you are here and you, you do interested about this hydrocyclone here and uh, in the total cyclone process because of the coarse pump directly into the cyclone group for separation and washing the secondary powder hold a second let me just pause it here to show you yeah you guys can see more clearly about it So the secondary powder with the small proportion of protein will flow out of the overflow port, uh, port together with the yellow pump and the, in order to improve the economic benefit the two parts of the cyclone have three to four groups of recovery cyclone and the recovered secondary starch slurry will flow back to the our original slurry pool for separation if high quality starch it is needed to produce the recovered secondary starch should be stored uh, and uh, disposed uh, separately and the hydrocyclone used in starch industry belongs to liquid hydrocyclone and its working pr uh, principle it is similar to that of uh, like gas hydrocyclone it is separated by centrifuge force and suspension posted with a different specific gravity of uh, particle and material enters in the uh, tangential position of cyclone tube at a certain pressure yeah just like the video I just show you and it rotates in the tube and produce a larger centri centrifuge force the larger uh, particles move down uh, move along the tube wall as uh, and discharge by the bottom flow hole where the similar particles move up near to the center center and are like discharged by the overflow port and the effect of, uh, for this hydrocyclone it is related to the series of the feed uh, concentra concent concentration the more series the more uh, 
clean the more substance the more substance is removed and the quality of starch is improved accordingly